Little Sparklers, welcome back to this week's Tip Tuesday. Today we're looking at how you can take a simple platter from your local dollar store and a beautiful glass and create a really awesome multi-tier jewelry display. Now this display can be used for those who sell jewelry as well as for those who are avid collectors of jewelry and you want a beautiful way to display those collections. So stay tuned and let's see how it's made. So the supplies you're going to need is at your local dollar store, they have clear little plastic platters, lots of different styles and variations, and you can pick whichever one you like best. You'll need three of these, and then you'll need two, either you can use candle holders, but today I decided to use these beautiful little goblets um, and just flip them upside down because the patterns on these were very pretty and very delicate. So I love this particular one, but you can also use the glass candle holders for this thing, and you're gonna need two of those. and also. Also some E6000 glue. Now this glue you'll probably have to buy at a big box store um, and this is a great glue. It dries clear and very easy to use. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is remove the stickers, which I've already done, and then make sure that you do clean both the platters as well as the uh, risers that you've chosen. And so we've already done that, and so what we're going to do is take one of our goblets, we're going to flip it upside down where the opening is actually on the bottom, and we're going to place it in the center of this platter. Uh, what you're going to do is take your E6000 glue, and you're going to pass it, what I do is pass it around the rim of the glass so that you get a nice bead all the way around. And remember, this does dry clear, so if you have a little runoff, you're okay because it's going to dry completely clear. So pass that all the way around the top portion of your goblet. And you can you can be generous, girls, on this one and, um, and make sure it does get on that little lip. So you're gonna pass that all the way around and then simply flip it over and then find the center of the platter and you're going to push down onto the center of the platter. And there you have it. And you're just gonna kinda give it a little bit of pressure, pushing down and making sure that you are even um, all the way around and that looks really good. All right, so that is our first one, easy peasy lemon squeezy. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna need to add our riser. So we're going to take our same glue and we're going to pass it around the edge of the bottom of the goblet. And you can do the same thing that we did um, on the other portion. So we're just gonna go around the top really easy. And don't forget, like I said, don't don't uh, have to worry about having it perfect because this glue does dry clear. Then you're going to take your second platter, and I like to line up the lines um, for my platters because this one does have lines on it, so I'm going to make sure that my lines are in line with the one on the bottom. And you're simply going to just press this one right down on the top of that goblet and just give it a little push and that will create a second layer. Now you can stop here, you'll have a beautiful flat surface, you can lay your bracelets down, your earrings, you can display necklaces, things like that. Uh, but we're gonna actually make another tier up and we're gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna take our goblet and then we're gonna pass our glue all the way around the lid of that goblet. And this one will be pretty big. You'll be able to really display lots of jewelry, either if you are a direct seller or if you want to just display the beautiful pieces that you do have in your collection. So we're gonna go on to our second tube here. These are great because they are sealed. Um, you buy a little package of this one at your local big box store. For about $3, you'll get four or five tubes of this and it does last really long. And I like that they're individual tubes so they don't dry out if you don't use them right away. They say, stay nice and sealed. So we're gonna do the same thing we did with the other one and take our goblet. We're going to pass it up I um, mean, uh, over and push it down. And this is good because the bottom of the glass in front of you, pretty much line is going to show you where the line goes and you're gonna just give that a push as well. And then to add our next layer, we're gonna do the same thing and pass it around the top of this one. And this girls, you can even use if you're having a party and you wanna display desserts, um, you can even use that for that. You can use it for a vegetable tray, uh, putting your vegetables all around it. That would be beautiful as well. Uh, brownies, things like that. So this kind of has multi uses, not just for jewelry, but it is very beautiful to put your jewelry. And so we're gonna line, make sure our lines on our platter are in line with the lines on the platter. And then we are going to just set it right on top and push down. All right, then we're gonna leave this to dry um, for a few hours. And then once it's dry, we can go ahead and decorate. And then I'll show you what that looks like. 